Hi friends, happy Mother's Day. This is Anna Moose, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through how to take an awesome photo from home. Okay, first thing that we're gonna talk about is lighting. Lighting is one of the most important things, uh, one of the most important tools to make a beautiful picture at home. <laughs> um, or just in general. It is a great tool for manipulating what you want things to look like, the mood of your picture. So uh, first I want to say that if you are at home taking a picture, um, one of the best things to do is plan the time well. So the two best times I think for taking pictures are um, the two golden hours that happen every day, which is basically the time right after sunrise for an hour and then right before sunset for an hour. And that is the time where the light outside is that beautiful glowy like golden hue that everybody loves. So those are like the greatest uh, times to take pictures outside, especially like in your backyard or whatever. Um, and inside, sometimes at my house, um, when the light comes in in the morning, it is just so beautiful and it, it does this like golden thing on the walls um, and I love utilizing that time of the day. The second thing about lighting at home, um, if you are inside taking a picture, um, notice where I'm standing right here. I'm going to move in, um, into the light that is right in front of the window and how it completely changed the way that I look. And um, it accentuates the color more, it accentuates the color in my face more. It's just a lot more attractive when you stand in front of a window. And it can be great for portraits especially. Right, buddy? Yeah, better in the light. Then I'm gonna move this way a little bit. And if you can see over here on the wall, there's this fun um, effect happening from the window. Uh, the light is casted onto the wall and it can be actually really fun and a creative way to play with your photos a little bit. So if I stand in front of it, you can do different things, you know, go up or down. Okay, so one thing about the iPhone is that um, there's this awesome feature that if you tap on the screen, um, something that is looking overexposed or underexposed can um, be adjusted. So my friend is going to tap on the overexposed area of this shot right now to show you how the difference uh, that it makes when you do that. So as you can see, now we are looking a lot better and my skin tone's back to normal, the darkness in my hair is back to normal, and he's not this big old white blob, <laughs> which no one wants. <laughs> Another awesome feature that the iPhone has um, in the more recent iPhones is that you have the ability to shoot or take pictures in portrait mode, which basically allows you to um, focus in by holding down your finger um, to the focal point or the object that you're taking a picture of, whether that be a person, a little baby, or a plant, or whatever it is you're eating, um, and it will blur out the background, which is a desired effect in photos. It makes it just a little bit more beautiful, um, so that is a great tool to use if you're doing pictures of your kids or something at home um, to make it look a little bit more professional. So next, what we're going to talk about um, is composition. One of the important things to think about is the rule of thirds, which is basically um, in photography, it is a concept of breaking up your photo into thirds horizontally and vertically and putting the object of um, whatever you're taking a picture of into the intersection of those lines. So we are up against this wall and I'm going to show you a couple um, pictures of what it looks like to put your object or um, your people into those intersecting lines. The last part of composition that I want to talk about is being intentional and paying attention to details. So I feel like what what we usually do, um, because we just want to take the picture, um, is oh yeah, you got something to say? 
is um, we just take the picture of the person or the object and we don't necessarily think about what is happening around it. Part of taking a great photo is just being aware of the surroundings of your photo. Um, sometimes all it takes is just cleaning up a tiny bit of clutter and your, your picture already looks 10 times better than it did before because you are being intentional. Last thing that I want to say is that you have the ability to be creative and to take awesome photos. Not everybody is an artist, but everyone is creative. If we were made in the image of God and God was the ultimate creator, then we all have that ability within us to be creative and to think with that kind of eye. So don't be afraid and have fun playing around with the things that we've talked about today. Use lighting intentionally. Be careful of um, your surroundings and pay attention to detail. And use gold mallar because you will never regret it. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day from me and Jack.